Hey, what's up everybody? The markets have just pulled back and I'm gonna show you why I think Phantom can still do a 5X. We're gonna go into a price prediction on Phantom and the reasons why I think Phantom will be a strong pick for the end of the year, until the end of the bull market actually. So let's get right into it. If you're not sure what Phantom is, Phantom is a fast, high throughput, open source, smart contract platform for digital assets and dApps. And I'm gonna go into the reason and why I think Phantom will over uh, perform a lot of assets this year. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna do a technical analysis, so some charting on Phantom at the end of the video if you wanna to skip to there. So let's start off with the Phantom Foundation and, and unveils plans for native Binance powered exchange. I think this is huge. So launching in Q4 2021, Harry announced a Binance Cloud powered exchange for Phantom tokens. Binance Cloud will allow deeper liquidity, better limit orders, uh, HFT in bots. So looking forward to that. Whatever Binance touches usually does very well. Also a huge thing is Dext in, uh, integrating Phantom uh, networks so you have access actually not just you, but hundreds of thousands of traders have access to Phantom tools. So they can see all the hot pairs, all the top trending coins on Phantom and all that great stuff. So a lot of people have more access to the whole um, ecosystem for Phantom's ecosystem, all their coins and all that great stuff. So you have Phantom integrated on DEX tools, which is very helpful. Another reason that I think that Phantom can honestly do so well is one, because of the technology itself, but two, if you're looking at smart contract coins, so on CoinGecko, um, on our video yesterday, I actually showed you how to look for trending coins, but on CoinGecko, you can go to trending coins or coins by categories, and then we're going to look at smart contract coins. So these are um, you know, coins like Ethereum, Solana, Cardano, L1 coins that offer smart contracts or offer uh, you to build on these on these blockchains, on these uh, platforms. So Avalanche, uh, Chainlink, Polygon, Algorand, Elrond, which we shouted out in a video and it's done extremely well as, uh, as well. Stellar, Internet Computer. Where is, so Phantom's down here. Phantom still has a lot of uh, room to grow to the upside. You know, I, I, Solana's just on fire. I'm not sure if it'll catch up or even outperform Solana, honestly. And, you know, let's be real. I don't think Phantom will catch up to Ethereum, uh, especially given all the DeFi, NFTs, everything that's happening with Ethereum right now. Yeah, a lot of chains are building. There's a lot of liquidity and money being sent to chains. But let's look at Phantom. Right now, it's at a $5 billion market cap. And let's, let's be real. I think it can catch up to Avalanche. Cardano has... Uh, you know, it's just been doing so well in terms of market cap, but they have nothing to show for. So if they have a $50 billion market cap, that is almost a 10x for Phantom. That puts us at $20. My price target was about $10, a 5x from here. So I think that uh, something more reasonable would be Avalanche. If we can catch up with Avalanche for $25 billion in market cap and Phantom is at $5.3 billion. So if we can catch up to Avalanche and then start working our way towards Cardano, that is more realistic. Uh, let's get into actual the, the Phantom um, projects and uh, their bridge. So if you have anything on your MetaMask, I think that's the best way to access this. Uh, access your tokens on Phantom or to have a wallet on Phantom. Obviously, you can use hardware wallets or you can build a, a wallet right here, right on their Phantom website. You can go to their bridge so you can bridge out. Uh, it's not their bridge, it's multichain.xyz. Uh, so you can actually bridge tokens from different networks to the Phantom network. And then you can actually check out all their projects as well. So you can see uh, their partnerships and integrations. And then if we go to rank, you can see all of the projects on Phantom so you can do some research and like I said these are where some of the projects do awesome amounts of uh, returns like gains because these are new projects on new networks and they're just literally snapping so let's look at spooky swap that's their uh, popular exchange I wanted to note that the most like the easiest way to get their network on your exchange on your metamask is to visit a trusted exchange 
or platform dApp that needs you to interact with your network. So it's asking us to allow with the Phantom network and we are going to do so. So we're gonna change it to the Phantom Opera. We're gonna switch network and as easy as that. Now you can see we can use the network, we can use the, the dApp uh, and we can use the swap. So here's FTM. I have about 50 in this wallet and you can see I can exchange into any coin that they let me exchange into on their uh, swap on, on spooky swap. So that is pretty much it. So it's very similar to using uh, any other network like you can check uh, Binance Smart Chain, the Matic network, Phantom network, and then of course the Ethereum main net. So everything is in this MetaMask. It is this address, is, it's interchangeable. So you can send uh, Ethereum to the Ethereum network, uh, BNB to the smart chain network and so on. And everything comes to this address. So it's pretty cool that everything can, can work under uh, MetaMask. So I'm gonna actually make a separate video on that because it's confusing for people that want to begin like learning about this stuff. So it can get confusing so I'm actually gonna make a separate video on all the basics of MetaMask but let's get right into the technical analysis so that's a big one for me because these coins sometimes I find they're on fire and like you don't really have um, when they're running you just don't really know when to get in so you can see that I love to see that the coins come and test prior highs uh, I mean if we count this right here um it is testing the price point oops so yeah with these coins let me delete these lines actually with these coins they're moving up so quick these blockchain coins you know avalanche um ftm as well that I never want to FOMO in. I wait for the, the 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 pullback. Don't chase, buy the retrace. So if we're looking right now, we pulled back at a you know at a total of 52% and we're sitting at a 43% pullback. This last pullback right here was approximately 52% as well. And after we pulled back 52% from the bottom we went up about 288%. So that's kind of the move I'm looking for. Um, if I take my fibs right here to the top, so point A to point B, that's my lower, uh, my higher low to my higher high. And you can see that we pulled back right into the 61.8. If we pulled back into the 78, that would be definitely like a huge buy for me. I would load up right here, especially since it's sitting on the prior higher high. Uh, you don't want it to break this or invalidate this point. And then this is my next target. So my target, my price point is about $10. I think that if we got back, we get to where Avalanche is, we can definitely hit that $10 zone. But um, I think that $7.20, like if we break past $3.66, so the previous all-time high, that we will actually... Um, you know, I'm very confident that we will reach $7.23. There's a lot to this because the whole market pulled back and a lot of these altcoins, these strong altcoins and blockchain projects, they shoot back up first and they recover a lot quicker than Bitcoin and Ethereum do. Uh, and another thing on top of that is that if we do continue down, then obviously this isn't gonna move up as we wanted to so there is some things to point out right now even though we're in upward uh you know in an uptrend on the weekly because you can see we're still doing higher highs and higher lows higher highs and higher lows we are in a small downtrend on the daily so you can see um however you want to draw it we are now doing lower lows uh, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, and maybe we can come into this 200-day moving average right here into the prior higher high, and this would be an awesome buying place uh, some point right here. If we don't get it, then I'll buy on the breakout. So you can see that we're kind of making uh, highs, so higher, 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 higher lows. Uh, so I'm just looking for where this could potentially go. Um, and if it if it breaks this low right here, then I'm ex I'm definitely expecting this area, and that would be an awesome buy. So um, if you are looking to get into Phantom right now, honestly, like if it tests this area, 
the one dollar and seventy six three cents that was like a steal anything in this range right here so it's pretty close to these ranges um, and then here is the definite buy anything bouncing off the 200 moving day average uh, is usually a good buy like I said unless the market just takes a huge nuke uh, every the whole crypto market I'm talking about because of this new strain or whatever it may be uh, aside from that if we continue moving upwards where I think the market's going I think phantom will break its prior all-time high and then start moving towards seven dollars uh, our, our target seven dollars and 20 cents and then actually ten dollars uh the main target so that is pretty much it for phantom if you guys have any questions post below if you have any specific coins you guys want to check out or any platforms dApps or whatever it may be post them below make sure to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys tomorrow